I don't, I don't want to be the guy. I'm the girl. I want to smell pretty. <laughs> beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching I'm Sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back today we are talking about Mason Francis Kirk John you guys I went down a rabbit hole it all started with Baccarat Rouge 540 and it has continued and continued and continued so I thought I ranked my collection I thought I'd let you know ones that I've played with ones that I've loved ones that are on my wish list and ones that I'll be picking up next if you are here for that go ahead and take 2.5 seconds consider hitting the subscribe button don't stop there tap the notification bell why it's gonna alert you every single time there is a new video on this channel also Come over and say hi on Instagram. It's always going down in the DM. All right, we are jumping in this video right now. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. I'm gonna give you a brief, okay, uh, a little bit about the fragrance, but I just wanna rank my collection because I really had a hard time. I wanna see if how I ranked it, I'm gonna stick with that ranking in front of you guys. I just wanna see if I'm gonna stick with it. So I am going to go from my, I love them all because I bought them, but I'm gonna go from my, love love to my absolute love okay if that makes any sense at all if it didn't hit the like button if it did make sure you hit the subscribe button like right now seriously it doesn't even matter it's summer just go ahead and smash a button okay so let's start with these you guys i have three here that i did receive in my monthly subscription service from royalty Scents. i talk to you guys about that all the time if you are interested in royalty Scents, go ahead and type my name type in royalty Scents, and we shall appear like a genie but not in the bottle here on youtube all of the information regarding royalty Scents will be linked in the description box below but it's a great way to try fragrances before you buy them before committing to them and then you get stuck with them a big price tag and you can't return it so I tried three of them or more with um, royalty scents so the first one I tried and I think I loved it because it's gone right okay yes this one here I tried is aqua universalis and I know I'm probably butchering these names you already know she's trying you guys this is citrus bergamot it's good if you need something for the summer if you need something refreshing for the spring summer you could probably wear it year-round depending on where you live I live here in LA it typically doesn't really get that that cold so if I wanted to reach for it all four seasons I can definitely do that it is really really good like I said Citrus, bergamot, man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. It is a white floral. It is kind of musky in the dry down, but it's a beautiful scent and it's very refreshing. This right here is good, good. Yes, I would want to add a full bottle. I move on. The next one I'm going to tell you about is Aqua Vitae. This one is lemon mandarin. It has, um, Vanilla tonka bean. It's a little citrusy, but it's kind of sweet in the dry down as well. Another one perfect for spring and summer. Really, really good. Um, this one leans to me more masculine. I think Aqua Universalis, I really, really like. Aqua Verte, I believe. I believe this one leans like more uh, masculine to me. It's a very casual fragrance. Picture a guy with like something white on you guys. I don't know why I like white, okay? I just do. His shirt is kind of open. He's very well groomed. Okay, I'm into a guy that's like really groomed. Like make sure you're like groomed, skin is giving and everything like that. He puts something like this on. It definitely is a type of fragrance that is casual, but it can elevate a look, an outfit, and definitely create a vibe. I move on. Oh, this one was really good. Aqua Celestria. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't, look. <laughs> I have nothing left. This is full bottle worthy. I definitely need to add this in my collection. Another one that is a fresh, clean, refreshing type of fragrance. It's bright. It has a very bright, crisp opening. It has mimosa. It has musk accords. This too is a unisex fragrance. I'm just going to say this. I believe, well, not all of them, but most of my collection is a unisex collection. If it is predominantly for a woman, I will let you know. But this one here, if you're thinking about or have considered picking up Austri Aqua Celestria, I would highly recommend it. I believe it is. Good, good. I move on. So those are the ones that I have that I've played with. Two of them I want to add Aqua Universalis and Aqua Celestria. I believe both of those I definitely want to pick up. I'll probably pick them up sometime before spring next year. Here's the ranking, you guys. I, it just feels so weird saying your least favorite because it's not my least 
favorite because I bought it. I love it. But, um, okay, here it is. The one I reach for the least. That's how we'll go, okay? That's how we'll do it. This one, and I talked to you guys about this one already. This is Femi Perel. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's Femi Perel. Um, it's classy, sophisticated, church lady, signature scent worthy. Um, it's a white floral iris. It's got rose. It's got some woody, earthy notes in the base. It does. It's a chaper floral. It's a beautiful fragrance. I do not reach for it as much as I wish I did just because I'm rarely, oh my God, it smells so pretty for today. I rarely ever feel in this vibe these days. You know what I mean? I'm either trying to be hot, heavy, and turning up, okay? Or I'm trying to be laid back and sexy and laying in a cut, or I'm trying to Netflix and chill. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, that's the vibe that I've been in these days, and I haven't reached for this, but if you're in need of like a signature scent worthy, something beautiful, something classy, sophisticated, elegant, all the things, this is a way to go. All right, I move on. Mood, Silk Mood by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Now I will say this one here is more of a winter fall kind of scent. You can probably get away with it in early spring, but to me it's a bit too much to rock during the hotter months, like the warmer months, like right now. It's a beautiful Bulgarian rose. It is good though, oh my God, see, see? That's why I don't take the cap off. This right here is so sexy. Immediately when I smell it, um, I just think of a guy because my guy wears this a lot during the fall months. But a uh, man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this. It is Bulgarian rose, chamomile, bergamot. It has agar wood and it. it's a beautiful, lovely longevity is unreal on this fragrance. It is so good. It is not to be confused with Oud Silk Mood. I mean, Satin Mood. This is Oud Silk Mood. I move on. This one here, you do know that Maison Francis Kirkjohn on their website as well as in store offer different sizes. So I didn't really know how I felt about this, but I definitely thought it was beautiful enough to add to my collection. So I definitely did that. This is a la rose. This smells like a beautiful, beautiful bouquet of roses along with a nice um, green stem that you can still smell the greenery inside of the flower. If you watch my videos back, I oftentimes refer to this fragrance by saying that it kind of gives me the vibes of picking it up from a nursery while it's really early in the morning and the nursery has just received the flowers in, they've just been freshly cut and they just smell really good. It's a beautiful fragrance for a woman. Um, it's very, I would say romantic. I wouldn't say really sexy, kind of sexy on a first date or if you just weren't trying to go there, there. I tell you guys all the time, but you just want to go there. Okay, there is a difference. If you don't know, Ask me, okay, I'll tell you there is a difference, but this has beautiful notes of jasmine musk, it has lychee, it has pear, rose, peony. It is a beautiful fragrance and it is perfect for spring and perfect for summer. Remember, this is a different size. If you wanted to try something out and you didn't want to commit to the full bottle and you didn't want to buy a sample, I would highly recommend going with this size. It's perfect for traveling as well. I move on. The only reason why this one is in this spot is because it's I think it's the newest one to my collection. This is Hermes, um, and this is Femi. They have one for men, they have one for women. This is the Hermes, I'm probably saying that wrong. You guys, this is so good. This is so sexy, this is so good, this is so right now. I truly believe you can wear it year round. Like I said, if you live where the climate is warm, this one here is definitely geared towards spring, summer. It is a beautiful white floral. It has woody notes in it, citrus, it's powdery, it has jasmine, it has iris. It, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on because this is this might be my scent of the day. Oh my god, it's so good. I already have like so many memories with it because before I bought the bottle, you guys, it took me over a year to buy the bottle because I have such an amazing client advisor. I promise you I had about 15 samples. I used them all. So I was like, okay, I gotta buy the bottle. That's what I do. I play with fragrances for a while before I commit and especially to a price tag such as this one. But this right here is good, good. Like I said, all the information will be linked in the description box below. I move on. Ooh, we're getting to the good part. Okay, okay, well not the good part, but the ones that I've had in my collection for like forever and that I absolutely love. Oh my gosh. So this one here is so good. It's so sexy. I hear a lot of talk about this and a lot of people feel that it is more of a masculine fragrance. I don't feel that. It's really good on me. Like I absolutely love it. It's sexy, it's classy. Now I will say in my opinion, it's a little formal. I don't reach for it all the time. I reach for it during Christmas, Thanksgiving. Not like you have to wait for a special occasion. Ugh. 
of course I can't talk. It's not like you have to wait for a special occasion, but that's just where I have compartmentalized it and have placed it in my collection. I have worn it on uh, days and date nights where it wasn't the thrills and feels, and I'm like, gosh, I feel like my fragrance is overtaking the, the event, the evening. You know, my fragrance was the moment, and if you know anything about me, I'm always the moment. The fragrance can't be the moment. I can make the fragrance the moment, but the fragrance can't be the moment. I have got to be the moment, darling, because she is the moment. But anyways, that is Grand Soul, darling. The color of the juice is so rich. It's amber, it's vanilla, it's tonka bean, it is benzoin. It is absolutely phenomenal, and it is a beast. It is a beast in projection, beast in siage. This is gonna get on your body, hold it tight, and never let it go. This is nothing like BIR 540. It's not gonna disappear, it's not gonna play a magic act. It's gonna be with you for a good time and a long time. I'm just saying, this one here is here to stay. This is Maison Francis Kirk John Grand Soul Joy. I move on. I always say that that one makes me feel like I should be riding it on a chariot. Like to me, um, in the night type of parties that they had, if you watched Bridgerton, they were wearing that. They were wearing Grand Soul. Okay, I'm just saying, you guys, I move on. Yeah, now this one here, oh my god, okay, straight, calm down. You can see which ones make me really, really excited. They've been in my collection for the long haul. Um, I started my collection with these. This one here is so uber, uber sexy. This is the best, let me think hard and clear, I believe so. This is one of the best rose and oud combos that I have ever smelled done. To me, it's done to perfection. It blends like nobody's business. It is sexy. It is intoxicating. It is, <laughs> it smells luxurious. It smells rich. It smells sexy. It's got a little bit of sankey to it. Don't ask me what that word is. It's another one that I made up, okay? And it purrs. Oh my gosh, it like gets on the body and you'll be going about the date or whatever you're doing. I'm always on a date and it's just purring and you smell and you're just like, mm. Okay, and if you mix this with Tom Ford Rose Prick, just come back and thank me later. I am talking about Maison Francis Kirk John Oud Satin Mood. That is this one here. Oh my gosh, if you know, you know. Like I said, Bulgarian Rose, Rose Absolute. It has a beautiful depth of powdery note to it in the dry down. It projects, it just is so sexy. It's so good. This one, I would highly recommend. I would, hi well, if you like those kind of notes, you know, it's not for everybody, but for me, I like it hot, I like it heavy, I like it bold, I like it strong. We know this. This right here is good, good. I move on, I move on, I move on. That one, I could stay on. Another one, now this one I talk about a lot because to me, it's very versatile. It fits the bill for many, many different occasions. It's signature scent worthy. Um, it definitely can go for brunch. It could go for a date night. It could go for a girl's trip. Like if you were thinking of a fragrance out of the ones that I have and I've experienced, a one and done, you're like, oh my gosh, I really wanna get something from Maison Francis Kirk John and I really don't know where to start. You know, I've heard a lot about BR540, but I really don't vibe with it because not a lot of people really vibe with that fragrance, but so many people absolutely love that fragrance. But so many people still want something from the collection. So what I always recommend is this one here. This is Maison Francis Kirk John, and this is Gentle Fluidy Gold. This is beautiful, this is coriander, this is nutmeg, this is amber. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's warm, it's kinda even gourmand a little bit, but not really. To me, you can wear it year round. I wear this in the warmer months as well. It's very classy, it's very sophisticated. It projects really well. It's got a good sillage. It's not gonna leave you high and dry. It will definitely be with you along for the seven, eight, nine hours, depending on how you spray. Now, I'm not a one, two, three type of girl when it comes to spraying the fragrance. If I'm gonna spray the fragrance, I'm gonna spray the fragrance. One, two, 20, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14. You know, I'm going in. I'm gonna spray because I wanna smell myself and I want you to smell me before I get there. I, I'm just that kind of person. That's just how I like my fragrances to do. We have arrived, darling. Who, me and the fragrance. And I'm the moment, I'm just saying. So if you are needing something and you're thinking you wanna pick up something from the brand and you don't know where to start, I always encourage you to start with the sample. In case you did not know, uh, you can go on Maison Francis Kirk John's website and you can put in, you know, whether you're in the UK or whether you're in the USA and you can order samples. I believe they're like $14. 
if you get those samples and you take it um, and you want to go and purchase a fragrance, there is a coupon code that they're going to give you. It'll come in a letter with your fragrances and it'll say something to the extent of if you want to purchase this fragrance, use this coupon code and redeem your $14 or whatever it is you spent for the samples. So you'll get that money back and then the samples will then be free. So that's just a, you know, a tip or something. If you did not know it, you can always go to your local department stores if they carry Maison Francis Kirk John and you can sample them out there. I move on. You guys, why am I being like so informative? Oh my God, I'm trying to spill all the tea. I'm trying to give you all the information because I like for people to know what they're getting into. You know what I mean? A lot of people can't get to samples. So if I can ever find a way to share samples with you, I definitely want to make sure that I do that. You can also check royalty scents as well. I move on. And then my favorite, I would say, or what started my collection was the original Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys. This is the one that started it. This is the one that caused all the drama. Absolutely love it. Um, I reach for it all the time, hence the bottle is where it is. When I don't know, somebody told me to let the bottle stay up a little longer. Okay, when I don't know what to reach for, this is what I reach for. When I don't know where to go, when I'm like, I don't know where we going, what's the vibe gonna be, I reach for this. Like, I reach for this all the time, and this is so good. It could be mixed with so many different fragrances. So even if you say you don't smell it very often, or you know, you get whiffs of here and there of it, if you mix it, you gotta play with it though. You gotta play with different fragrances and see what it mixes well with. I love it with Tom Ford. Um, Lost Cherry. I love it with Delina. Uh, I have a friend here on YouTube and on Instagram, Princess Perfume or Perfume Princess, and she told me to mix it with YSL Libre. Um, I have YSL Libre Intense and I mixed it with that. It's really, really good. I have mixed this with Strychnina before. Oh my gosh, I was on fire with that one, okay? That combo was like sickening kind of crazy. I was just like, I am giving off all the thrills and feels, okay? Smell me, do you smell me? Hello? That is definitely um, this fragrance. It's gonna give you a disappearing act for some. Some people will never smell it. Some people get medicinal smells. Some people say it smells like Band-Aids, being at the doctor's office, I don't get any of that. Burnt warm sugar or something burning, I did get when I originally picked it up, but it would not leave me alone. The fragrance was calling my name. I was sitting at dinner, I went in to sample it and I just sprayed it on my arm, put the lotion on as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, it's okay, but I'm not gonna buy it because I wasn't feeling it like that. I got a sample, went out to eat, was sitting at the restaurant and I'm like, what in the world is that fragrance? You know how something is like gnawing at you, right? And I was like, what in the world is that? I was smelling my guy, I was smelling my clothes. I'm like, what is it? And I went like this and I was like, oh, that's that fragrance. That's Baccarat Rouge 540. Needless to say, I went back to pick it up and I did not stop there, okay? So this one here is it, but my absolute favorite, okay? Even over 540 the original is 540, the EDP, the Estrit, the Parfum. This has a beautiful almond note in here. It lasts to me a lot longer. It's a little bit softer. It's not as sharp. It's not as medicinal as some would say. It's not so, um, it's just not so starch. You know what I mean? Like, so it doesn't have that sting to it. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit more mild. It's a little bit more tamed. How about that? And it's really, really good. All of these, you know, both of these, you know, are unisex fragrances, man, woman, boy, child, human. Good thing about having them in your collection, if your guy loves fragrances and you love fragrances, this is one that the two of you can share. So you can look at the cost like that too, like it's a two for one. But this one here would happen to be my absolute favorite. I also get questions on Sheree, what would you recommend? Would you recommend the body oil? Because I do have the body oil as well. Or would you recommend the lotion? Because I have the lotion as well. I play with the body oil, to be honest with you guys, and it's okay. I, if I had to tell you which one to get, the body oil or the body lotion, I would tell you to go with the body lotion. Now, here's the thing. If you follow the channel and you've been watching the videos, you know that uh, they came out with So De Janeiro at Sephora, you can pick it up, the Baja. And some people say that it's comparable to this. So I believe, I don't know how much this retails for. I believe like $90, $89, $100. You might be able to find it on sale when they're running like 10% off or Nordstrom's is having their Nordstrom's anniversary sale. You might be able to pick it up there. I'm not sure if it'll be on sale, but I'm just saying, if you didn't want to break the bank, go with the one at Sephora. I'll pop a picture up or it smells in the family, okay? Because not everything smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Some are saying it has, you know, comparable um, notes and smells to it. So try it, see what it is. But if not, this is definitely a way to go. If you did not want to get the body lotion, then I would say go ahead and get the body oil. Um, 
it just to me does not last as long at all. You put it on and I don't really smell it. Maybe a couple of hours, but maybe that's just a disappearing act. But um, it gives you a consistency like this. It's not really shiny and oily. Of course, I just sprayed that on. But through the course of the day, it's not going to leave you looking like Johnson & Johnson's baby oil. It's going to give you a vibe such as this one right here. And... If you did not want to stop there, because I did say that this one is my favorite, my, my love, you can pick up the hair mist. And this is hair mist. And yes, I have the candle. Okay, yes, I have them on back stock. I got, well, at first I was thinking the candles really didn't smell, but you have to put it in a smaller room. And plus, let's just be honest, I'm bougie and I like the aesthetic of it. It's a Baccarat Rouge 540 candle and I love how it's made. It feels like luxury and luxury doesn't always have to break the bank. So if you want to spend for a Maison Francis Kirk John candle and get all the thrills and frills, I would say go there as well but this is a hair mist i spray this in my hair all the time and it's really good because now this is going to be in my hair all the time i'm a hair perfume kind of girl i wash my hair um i'm at the gym every day so i definitely like my hair to smell good so yeah definitely i would recommend a hair fragrance this does last even i have sprayed this on my hair and it has gotten on my clothes and it was still on my clothes over the oil i would tell you to go with the hair mist depends on you some people put oil in their hair so they'll put it there as well the other only lotion that i have picked up would be the oud silk mood and i got this as a free gift with purchase i believe i ordered uh the fragrance and they were doing some type of promotion or some type of something i don't know how um it came in my order so uh this this right here I can see is really good their lotions are good the consistency is good for those of you that may have not known uh, let me give you a little bit of it so that you can see this here um squeeze really nice jar top there see this there you go this is for the people who are not able to make it out to get a sample and to see the samples in store this is what it looks like um it's a nice bottle this is the consistency of it it just blends into the skin really nice I'm gonna smell so good today where are we going I don't know but um I'm gonna smell good and it just leaves you like this just like that that was the oil and that was why do my hands look so different oh my gosh it's like two different colors anyways um yeah so this is the consistency of the lotion my least favorite that I have ever smelled thus far by Maison Francis Kirk John and I shouldn't say it's my least favorite I just would never purchase a full bottle but I do have this decant of it and this is gentle fluidy and this is silver you guys if you watch that Napa vlog I thought that I was reaching for gentle fluidy go because it said gentle fluidy so I was like oh okay yeah this is it and I went in okay just spraying 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 I was like I don't remember it smelling like that. What's wrong with it? It smells so masculine. The silver one is very, very masculine on me. And it just smells like it should be on a guy. On my guy, it is amazing. On me, it's like I'm not the man. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the guy. I'm the girl. I want to smell pretty. I don't want to smell like a man. And this is definitely very much giving man vibes on me. Real bad. Okay? Real bad. So I'm like, no, this is not my favorite. Um, anytime I talk to anyone and they ask me, which one should I get, gold or silver? I'm always recommending gold. But if you do like them, they both have the same notes. If you want something a little bit more sharper, a little bit more stronger, a little bit something more refreshing, more, um, I don't know, what would you say? A little bit more, uh, I, I don't even know, just masculine. Yeah, but it's more fresh. It is beautiful though. It is good. Like I said, it's very sexy on a guy. Just not on me, but it is good. Don't mistake me for not saying that it's good. It is good, good. It's just very sexy. It's very clean. It's very fresh. It's very bright. This one, um, Gentle Fluidy Gold, it's more sweet and it's more, you know, like I said, even gourmand even. So they do have the same notes, but they do smell totally different. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Hopefully it has been informative. So if you had any questions on any of these Maison friends, Francis Kirk Johns, I have answered them for you. All of the information along with the fragrances will be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye!